Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fish my back widget. We're on Lake Monticello again Thursday morning. And we own some perch right here. I see them. Uh, they're right under me. Bunch of fish. We got the Bobby Garland. We're going to try to catch them with the Bobby Garland here this morning. Thanks for being with me on another episode of Love and Life. My rod is twisted around the end of my life. Uh, lines twist around the end of my rod. That's what I'm trying to say. Jumbo Magnum right there, right off the bat. Jumbo Magnum with a Bobby Garland again today. We we found out that they're hitting that Bobby Garland pretty good. Put it on spot lock and I'll show it to you. Thanks for being with me. Hey, you got to love catching a few perks. Turn this camera up a little bit. Got a lot of bright sunshine here this morning. A lot of bright sunshine. Try to get y'all in the camera. I'll get me in the camera. <clears throat> Can't even talk this morning. But thanks for being with me. Caught a nice smallmouth in here yesterday on this Bobby Garland's year. See if we catching nothing. <sighs> Old fisherman loving life on a bright, sunshiny day. Y'all can see how bright it is. And it's hot, gonna be hot. It's gonna be in the mid 90s today. Heat, heat uh, index over 100. We're gonna try to catch a few and get out of here before it gets over 100. What we gonna do? Hopefully we can. Got a few down, I don't know how long they're going to stay. I caught a big old crappie here the other day, and, the, and the, my footage got lost somehow. Um, about a pound, two pound and a half, along with a big old perch at the same time, right at this very spot. It's a, it's a little mound or something down there. It might be some old silk brush, silk over brush, I don't know. But uh, they down there, they ain't hitting. That ain't a good sign. We caught that one. And now I can't get a bite. I don't know what the deal is with that. <clears throat> Drop back down. Get some bass in there, probably smallmouth and perch, and hopefully a big old crappie. Finally got a bite, folks. Boy, it's slow this morning. We finally got a bite. Maybe we get on something up here. They really slow. See, we can stir them up. That's a good one, though. Hey, that's two nice. Look at that. Look at that. Two jumbos right off the bat. Ow. Ow. Calm down. Two jumbos. Them's the kind we're looking for right there. Them's the kind you read about in Perch Magazine right there, folks. Look at that. Them good ones. Yeah, them's good ones. That's what we're looking for. So we got another one of them babies. And told my jig, slam up. Hey, these fish are, they're not feeding right now. You gotta make them bite. You gotta make them bite. I went to a heavier lead to pull me down a little bit quicker. I had it set up for crappies in, in 18 foot of water. Now we're in 30, 30 foot of water. And we got a lot of fish on us right now. Let's see if we can make them bite. I uh, apologize for the sun that's so bright, but there ain't nothing I can do about it with the way the wrecks and the winds blowing puts us right in this sun. They don't want to bite. They there too. Plenty of them. Plenty of fish down there. Just not in a feed. We might have to put a three rig down there and try to aggravate these fish. Normally they'll hit this this crappy rig quicker than they will that, but they ain't doing it today. There you go. Got to move it slow to catch them, I'll tell you that. You don't move it slow, you ain't gonna catch them. They don't want nothing moving fast. And I think that's because of the mayfly lovers they're eating on. What I think they ain't running shad they're eating on mayfly lovers and they're floating up. That's what's happening. Oh, doggone rascal, come here. Nah. Come here. That's what they're doing. They eat mayfly lovers. See right now? And you got to move it slow to catch them. Let's see if we get another one. We got a lot of munners amount of catching them it's 30 foot deep and all I'm doing is letting it go to the bottom and I'm really I'm, I'm just basically easing it up to one pegs it 
just like a lava floating up. What we doing? See you. See what I mean? See what I mean? Once you get one, you might get another. This a little fish, yeah. Baby, I think. Yeah, that's a real baby. Real baby. Real baby. Pull it back down. Man, the people are fishing. I'm gonna tell you, people don't work no more. Everybody's fishing. Everybody's off work, retired, fishing. Like the old fishermen. Tell you what, they uh, they really off this morning. You really got to stir them up, get them to bite. They talk, don't y'all see him hit that thing? He thumped it. They all down there. People say they ain't no perch no more. They don't know what they're talking about. They there. They just smarter than you are. The perch is still here. I promise you, I see plenty of them on the bottom. They just not wanting to bite. They just not feeding. They fool, probably. You don't want to eat another steak after you eat a steak. There you go. That's what the problem is. Now, instead of doing the circle swing, I'm doing it just to pulling it up real slow. So I adapted it over completely to what I normally do. We just move, moving it real slow and hope one will pop it. Like, oh, see that? You see him? He ain't gonna chase it fast. He's got to stay down in the strike zone a little bit. There he is. There he is. what I tell you? See if we get another. He's got to stay down in the strike zone. Uh oh, he got off. <laughs> He got off, trying to keep it down the strike zone, and he got off. All right, I back down. There's a few here. I see them on the bottom. All we got to do is make them bite. <laughs> Sometimes that's hard to do. Hard to do. There he is. You got to go slow to catch them. If you're going to go slow, you ain't going to catch them. That's all this did. That's a nice one. Just reached up there and grabbed them. So we had another to run up behind it. We're stirring them up now. we stir them up. Look at that. Two jumbo magnums. What? Two jumbo magnums. Hey, they. I mean, good ones. Good ones. Good ones. It's all about making them bite, folks. Smelling the roses is what it's about. Getting off of them now and they're leaving us. Getting, they're getting spooky is what it is. When they spooky, you better downsize and you better go slow for these perch. When they get spooky. Okay, there's the bottom. Let's ease it up. There he is. Done nailed it already. Huh, done nailed it already. Ain't no big one though, I don't think. It might be bigger than I think. It might be coming up. Ah, he's a little. He's little. Throw back. You're going to throw him way out, China. You don't want him scaring off a j uh, fish. Drop back down. To the bottom. Oh, it's a big boy. It's like. See, I ain't beat the boat lately. I don't know if that's the right thing to do anymore. Then I got used to that. Yeah, you get used to everything, let me tell you. Whatever works one, one year don't work next year. Oh, he's hitting it all the way up. I bet he pulled my jig down. Bet your money. There you go. Ooh, missed him again. You know he's gonna pull them jigs down now. Try it one more time and we got to check our jigs. Hey, got him that, got him that time. The little one. The little one. Real little. That's what they all some of them little. Look at that baby thing. That thing ain't big enough. He just hatched out. Huh. Probably a year old, I'm guessing. All right, drop back down. Two bottom. Ooh, what a big boy. A lot. Hope we get some nice fish today. You don't never know. You don't never know. There he is. He nailed it. Oh my, he nailed it. What? That's a good enough. That's a good enough. That's a good enough. That's a jumbo. That's a jumbo magnum. What? Look at that. Two at a time. Late Monticello. Look at that. 
My goodness, people. Hey, we got them going now. We got them going on the Bobby Gala today. It's funny how you use a slider jig. You got, to, you got to approach it differently. You got to slant it and pull them for them wiggle that tail. Slider's totally opposite. All right. We're going to try some. I got this little curly tail jig. I don't know if they'll bite. It's the right color, though. Kind of a gray looking. Uh, I forget the name of it. We're going to give it a shot. Let's see if they'll bite this old curly tail shad. We'll put it down and see what happens. You know, we got nothing to lose. I like to experiment. I'm not much on the curly tails, but if they start biting it, I'll be I'll be on the curly tails. With you easing it up like that, that curly tail might be dancing. Give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Uh oh, might scare them off. Oh, they got a bump way up yonder. Might, there he goes. Took it on the fall. Uh oh, you got no, he's still on the little, little. He ain't on the curly tail. Oh, he's on the Bobby Garland. He's on the Bobby Garland. Gray ghost. I found. I dug in my box and found me a couple more gray ghosts. I think is the color. I don't know. I don't have the packages, and there's so many colors I can't remember all them colors. I used to catch them on one. Had to look. It kind of gray, uh, creamy Got with a little green right here. Nice ones. Still using the Bobby Gall and ain't wanting to chase the slider jig. No, we ain't got but one on, but he's a good one. Hey, we're using the orange Bobby Gall, orange and specks in it, and a little green belly uh, with a little paddle tail on the end of it, a little tiny tail. They seem to be wanting that. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. We got a couple down there, believe it or not. Believe it or not, a couple there. They probably ain't seen this uh, Bobby Garland over here. They've been looking at sliders. We're gonna fool them, hopefully. But they probably won't stay long. They get all, they, they leave real quick now. Catch a couple and they gone. And that's the way it is. They don't stay like they used to because they're being pressured. That's what happens when fish get pressures. Catch a couple and they figure out the jig's up and they leave. It happens every time on any kind of fish. Non pressure fish are easy to catch. There you go. There you go. Hey, there goes another, I think. I think we got two. I think we got two right here. I don't know, it might be one nice one. Here's a nice one. Hey, day. Joe is pulling. Big old slab perch. Oh, it's two. It's two. Look at that. It's two. Two at a time. Late. One a I'm surprised there's this many people fishing on Thursday. My goodness, you'd think it was Friday. I hate to see Friday. My goodness. Drop it down, see if we can catch a couple. Dodging people. What we doing? Hey, yeah. Hey, they biting too. They biting. We're going to catch a couple. They biting. Bobby Garland. Killing it. Let's drop it down. I tell you, they're hitting that orange pretty good. Kind of like that new penny color. You go up shrimp. We're in 31 foot of water right now. Maybe I'm fishing a little too shallow, getting them little ones. The big ones might be out a little bit deeper. Can't ever tell. I'll back down. I'm sure we'll catch a couple and they're going to quit. That's what they do. That's what they do. Hey, yeah. Uh, Hey, he stuck it. He stuck it. What? I think we might have two. I'll tell you what, that's a nice one. These jokers here pulling now. They're nice ones. These ain't no babies here. Got my drag loose. Pulling like crazy. They're pulling like crazy. 
Look at that one, two perch. Jumbo magnum is what I mean. Look at that. Oh my, look at that. White. Mm -mm -mm. Them the kind you read about in Perch Magazine, folks. Perch Magazine. Huh? Bobby Garland. Killing them. Killing them. All right. Let's see what we can do. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. I believe we got some down there. Hey, they look like they starting to bite now. That's what it looked to me like. They starting to bite now. There he is. Look down the going. Look down the going. Huh? I'm having fun catching them on Bobby. What? Oh my. Pulling too. Pulling. What? Oh my. Tell you. That joke is stretching my rod. I'm stretching my string. Look at that two at a time jumbos. Look at him. Look at that. Look at that white perch. My goodness sakes, folks. Look at that white perch. Jeez, a re. Huh? Them big ones. Bobby can catch them too. We got to call old Bobby Garland and see if he'll send me some of these doggone jigs. I mean, big old perch. Huh? Drop it to the bottom. Boy, the big boys lie. Okay, day day down there. We're dropping off deeper and they there. I'm gonna just put on spotlight. You can fish spotlight with this jig. They don't want it chasing right now. So you got to you got to drop it down and ease it up with this jig. That's what we're doing. And uh and they coming up and popping it too. I don't think we got to the bottom that time. Let's drop it back down. Let's see if we can stir them up. 20, 36 foot now when I dropped off. We want to drop off out here. All right, we get to the bottom, we go to pull it, one ought to take it. Right there's the bottom, one ought to take it. There he is, oh, I missed him. There he is again. Got him that time, got him that time. See if we get a nudge. There goes a nudge. What? There goes a nudge. Oh my, there goes a nudge. They pulling too. What? Bobby Garland. Hey, Bobby and Slider catches Big ones too, look at that. Look at the size of them perch. Them jumbos, buddy. Them jumbos. Them jumbos. Mm, come off of that jumbo. Look at him. Look at that. Look at that white jumbo magnums. Good. The big ones. The big ones. The big ones. Get it back down to the bottom. Keep them going. That's the thing. Keep them going. Keep them going, folks. Alright, hey, we're catching some good fish right now. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Some kidding? There he goes. Huh? There he goes. We're laying it to him, ain't we? We're laying it to him. I mean, we laying it to him. The only difference in the Bobby Golden and uh, Slider, that three inch slider jig will catch more bass, no doubt. Bobby Golden's going to pluck the perch. And the three-inch slider jig is gonna catch the bass. Is what's gonna happen. Right now, we plucking perch. I mean jumbos too. I mean jumbos too. I mean jumbos too. Look at the size of them babies. Pounders, pound a quarter, big ones, and they killing it. Got over this morning that lake's falling. I knew I might have a chance. It stays high all day. They don't do much. You know, fall a little bit. You can lay it to them. And I believe that's the way what's happening here on this lake right now. And they starting to feed up into the day, it's hot. And they starting to feed, folks. And we're gonna lay, we're gonna feed them some Bobby Goldens right now. I ain't changing, I don't wanna put, I put the uh, slider right there, I probably could catch three at a time. But right now I'm sticking with the two. I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess up. We got them going, we need to keep them going. We got the whole mother load on us right now, and they there. They there. When I go to reeling up, one's gonna take it. I guarantee you on that. If I get it down there to him now, I might, sometimes I wanna stop it, cause it's not as heavy. I got smaller jig heads. I wanna stop it too high. But uh, we get it down there to him, one bite. I hope, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. 
Uh oh, he got off. Doggone it, he got off. Them fine perch right there. Fine perch. Good ones. Hey, oh man, missed him again. Got to get it up. I think I'm pull it down. I'm pull my jigs down. See that? Both of them. I'm pull my jigs down. I'm about to tear this up. I ain't got no more of these orange. They're loving that orange. Kind of reminds me of that orange of the uh, um, gulp shrimp I used to use. Catch so many on. Uh, hey, they're loving that orange. All right, drop it down. 36 foot. Look at that. There goes another. There goes another. There goes another. Nice one, too. Nice one. What? Nice one. Hey, day. Nice one. That's a nice perch right there. Feels like it, anyhow, unless it's two. I don't think it will. No, it's two. Look at that. Two of them. Two of them. Lake Monticello. Kill them. And they good ones, too. They good ones. They filets. Every one of them is a filet. They are filets. Tell you that right now. Drop it to the bottom. Let's catch nothing. Let's catch nothing. What y'all say? Boy, they down there. They down there big time. They down there big time. Up into the day, it's hot too. Woo! Must be 11 o'clock, 10. I ain't done much. Crappers might even start biting. Might go back by the brush pile. Never would know with me. I'll change in a minute. I don't see them like I did, but we got another. Nice one, too. Big old perch. Big old perch. I mean, that's a jumbo magnum. That, my friend, is a super duper dog magnum perch. Look at the size of that perch. Look how big he is. Great day. What? Oh my. Uh, you notice how I just adapted over to Bobby Golden all of a sudden? Because I was, hey, I find out they'll bite them just about as good. You just can't work it the same. Gotta work it different. They want them slow, something slow. What it is. Want them something slow. Is exactly what's going on. I've been, what I've been doing is not the way to go right now unless you can really catch them on the feed. They're hitting that slow jig now. You gotta stir them up again. Right here. You gotta stir them up. There he is. There he is. We're gonna stir them up again. That's two of them. What? That's two of them. Y'all notice when that boat went by, they quit and I had to turn the camera off? Well, when it settled back down, they started biting again. Boat noise is scaring these fish off. That's what's happening. Boat noise. That's why you don't wanna run over a spot you're gonna fish. You wanna stop out and move in. The controlling motor. Just another tip from the old fisherman, because I'm telling you, you can't be dumb and catch fish. That that motor trolling over top of these fish scares them, and they know it's somebody coming. So you got to stop out and move over them with the trolling motor. I tell y'all all these wonderful tips. I don't know if y'all appreciate it or not. I'll be honest with you. And all I want you to do is when I'm out here fishing, do not come up on me and start fishing right beside me. I do not like it. And I can't tell you no clear. Don't like it. So if you want me to keep doing these shows, do not root me out of my spots. I will quit doing them. I'll hang it up because there's a lot of work to this. I don't mind showing you how, but do not root me out of my holes like these fellas are trying to do now. Keeps that up, I will quit YouTube. It ain't no reason. I don't need to do YouTube. I don't need that little change. I like doing it. I like sharing my methods, but I do not like getting rooted out. Let me tell you. And I, if, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I don't mind being nice and show you how, but I do not want to be crowded out. It will make me quit. Just another little tip from the old fisherman. They come a boat now. They scare them back down again. They're gonna pull right up on top of them. That's what people do. I'm telling you. 
All right, let's see if we can get another bite. <sighs> boat noise runs them away. I'm telling you, and it can be boat noise from 100 yards away. I see it every day. Every time a boat comes by me, they quit. That, that, oh, not that time, though. I got one. I got one. I got one. That's a nice one, too. I got one. That's a good one. That's a jumbo. But most of the time, when a boat comes by and I allow one like that, they quit for a while, and then they'll come back. Oh, that's a good fish right there. It's got to be, too. Got to be, too. Look at that. I mean, two jumbos, too, buddy. Two jumbo magnums. Folks, them big perks right there. Them big perks. Big perks. I ain't caught no big ones like that lately. Certain spots out here, the big ones are in, and certain spots, they ain't big ones. Uh-oh, that boat seen me catch two. They coming back. I don't know what they're doing. They took a circle now, they're coming back. Sure. They seen me catch them too and they come back. I got a couple more on. They quit for a little bit. I'm hoping I can stir them back up with this fish. They're coming and going is what they're doing. Look at that. Two at a time. Two at a time. Nice ones too. Look at the, look at the size of these perks. These are jumbos, people. These are jumbo magnums. I mean, these are jumbo magnums. What? Oh my. I mean, big ones. These here are the kind you, you want. When it comes to perch, throw it back out. See if we get another. I've done a little trick with my uh, slider jig, the two and an eighth inch man. I cut the little paddle tail off and trimmed the little side wings off, the little humps on it, and we, it, we got more of a metal looking thing and not a swimming metal. So I, I, I done a little bit of trimming, and we just caught a fish on it. I always experiment now. And we just, there is, got another. Hey, they're coming back in again. You got a little of that. Coming back in again. And we trimmed a slider jig off to make them bite it. Got rid of the paddle tail. Because we're not swimming it. See what I'm saying? We fishing, I'll show it to you. We fishing straight down and we're not swimming it. Now we got something that looks more like a metal. See, I trimmed the paddle tail off and I trim the little side wings off the back there where it's grooved to make it wiggle. And right now we're just fishing with a metal looking jig and it does real well when it's going down. Down, It's not spinning when it goes down, so that makes it really nice. You got a jig spinning going down, it ain't, it ain't gonna be that good. It's got to glide. <clears throat> glide is what you want, folks. All right, hey, and that's, that's nice when you can figure out something. We might be, you might be coming up with something else when they don't want it swimming. Ooh, there he bit it. He bit it. Tap the boat a little bit and see if we can bring him back in here. There he is. There he is. And move it slow. That's the key. Everybody is, is swimming it still like they were biting earlier. They done quit biting swimming. <coughs> they done quit biting swimming. Still got one Bobby Garland on. And we got a, on our hook there, we got a, a perch gum. Got to get off. <laughs> we don't want no trimmings of perch lip on my hook. Let's drop it back out. See what we can do? Loving life with the old fishermen. They quit a little bit and then they come back. They quit a little bit and then they come back. But they're hanging around. These big perch are hanging around. That's what we have to big perch. He's a lot bigger perch than what I caught yesterday. A lot bigger. He's here twice the size. <coughs> twice the size. Oop, there he was, golly. Got to go slow with it. I can tell you that right now. You got to go slow. You ain't going to catch him. I guarantee you I'm pulling my jig down. I ain't too sure that it's going to go right back to the bottom. There he is. And, uh... And then we stir them back up to what's happening. Look yonder going. Look yonder going. What? Look yonder going. Oh my, they pulling. They pulling. I was thinking about going to uh, Flutter Spoon fishing tomorrow, but I don't think now I am. I'm getting this size perch. 
These are big ones. Them big perch, folks. Look at the size of that perch. Okay. Dropped over here on the brush pile. On a little brush, we got a nice fish on. I don't want to be a bass. It's a bass. It's a bass. It's a bass. Oh my, it's a bass. Doggone. Last stop of the day. And I got my doggone net in a jig over here. Won't come out. There it comes. Last stop of the day. We got a little bass on. Look at that, folks. Huh? You got to love that. Catch a little bass to end the day. These little bass are in shallow on these brush. I'm gonna chunk them back. But hey, what a way to end the day with a little bass. Had a great day today. 